Hey, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yashai, Bashim Akar Kadash, the Bonus Apostle slash Elders, which are GMS and blessing salutations to you, brothers out there teaching truth and sincerity. Uh, my name is Robert Moth. This is GMS on break. Um, and uh, I just wanted to go over just um, Hebrews 11 and 1. And uh, we all know the scripture, you know, a false balance is an abomination until Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rukar Kadash. And um, as Apostle Gabar and Apostle Tahar, really all the apostles said, and it, you know, something, you know, that's really stuck is the fact that, um, you know, just because it says balance, it doesn't mean 50-50, you know, and um, balance, is uh, basically what's appropriate for that moment, you know, um, not what's proper, what's appropriate, you know, for that moment in the spirit, you know, because you could be at reveling and it'll be um, proper to drink, right? Because you had a you had a party and there's a lot of liquor and, and you know, um, you know, folly and you're having fun, and, you know, um, you're in that environment, you're not at your job, right? But you know, um, who's the designated driver? Um, how much are you taking in? You know, uh, how are you when you get too intoxicated? You know, things of that nature. So it, it comes down to what is efficient for you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you could, it don't mean you have two women or one man, one woman. You know, it, it's what's, it's just to keep yourself centered, okay? Um, because you have to know when that's the key to us being in this truth is knowing when to be um, constructive, destructive, um, angry, you know, uh, mournful, uh, gentle. It's knowing when to put these key um, spiritual elements into act, you know, even even um, speaking, you know what I'm saying? The scriptures speak on speaking. It says, you know, um, a wise man know when to hold up his tongue until you find an opportunity, you know. Um, so it's basically telling you to speak and to not speak, you know, to edify or rebuke a fool. And it tells you to not rebuke a fool, actually in the same uh, in the verse right right next to each other, you know. So, you know, it says answer a fool according to his folly, and it says answer not a fool according to his folly. It's really the balance, what's the goal and the agenda. So, um, you know, um, I just... We like to push that on the Akim as far as understanding why, you know, as the, the brother, um, the elder Zaquaya um, uh, Ariala said, you know, in Mike Ala in the video that they recently did, I advise brothers to watch it is, you know, they was talking about, you know, handling your daily bread in Babylon and it required balance, man. It's knowing when to do things, knowing when to say, you know, the most high food, clothe and feed me. But at the same time, you know, a man that don't work, don't eat type of deal. You know, it's not, you know, like Malak Shah, a man don't work, don't eat. So he's just not on the highways at all. And he's all about working. That's a false balance, man. You know, um, you do what you can do to make yourself an asset with availability, financially, um, knowledgeable with toward the ministry. You know, um, to put yourself in a better financial situation, you're not as much as a hassle. You know, like like the brother said, you get stuck out of town or you go here to go this, this place, that place, and, and you get stuck and now you're a burden upon the brothers. You know, some brothers got it harder than others, but at the end of the day, um, if we put ourselves in a better position, um, you know, we'll have a true balance. And, and that goes in basically your day-to-day decision-making. You know, uh, that's why the Lord say be sober minded, you know, clear headed, you know, righteously thinking, you know, and everything that we do, we have to be sober minded. It says hasten in the day, but at the same time, it says endure until the end. You have to be able to put those two together or else you can bug out either way, you know. So um, I just wanted to put that out there with the balance and everything, you know, it's, it just goes back on the thing I can that resonates is you know with the apostles and what Ariel and Mike Alla were saying and, and the main thing is think think don't just just because it's right it doesn't make it right man 
you know, just because, oh, oh yeah, for, you know, fuck Esau, so you in, the, you, you in the fucking library and shit, cursing out Esau and shit, or you in the grocery store, or at the fast food restaurant, you at IHOP, fucking with the waiter because they're an Edomite, and they spitting your food and shit, you know? So it's all about balance. A false balance is abomination to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And it's not talking about 50-50. It's talking about what's right at that moment. You know what I'm saying? You can't put half sugar, half Kool-Aid. You know, that's not that's a false balance. You know, it's the what's right for the recipe. You know, and the recipe is to be, um, to have a, a good rapport. You know, that's also important. And to be um, spiritually minded and kingdom minded. You know, so with that being said, I want to say, call hello to y'all, bash him, y'all, shy, bash him, recall Kadash, brock they how, brock they how, shy, brock they how, brock they how, shy, brock they how, brock they how, shy, hey, shalom.